Hello, my name is Paul Anderson, and I've joined with the Mob Film Company and Jessops to offer you a unique opportunity. I would like you to make a short film. It can be no longer than 10 minutes in length, and it must be called The Shot. We're delighted to be involved in this project. At Jessops, we wanted to be out more than just selling cameras. We want to inspire our customers in both film and photography. We also wanted to underline the changing nature of the camera equipment we sell. Nikon in particular with the D4 and the D800 have put a lot of investment in improving the video capability of those cameras. We came up with uh, a, a few ideas initially ranging from um, a Jessops Film Festival to an idea um, centred purely around impressing the director, um, Paul W.S. Anderson. But we eventually settled on the shot because we, we felt it was an idea that best encompassed what Jessops um, were offering. And once we, we had the look and feel, we translated that into some quite stunning film posters which we sent round to film schools and film societies around the UK. In addition to that, we used Facebook. We also used Twitter to target cinematographers and screenwriters and budding filmmakers. Posted on various forums such as Indie Talk, um, which is one of the most prominent kind of filmmaking forums for independent filmmakers. And we were quite lucky in the fact that blogs like Dog Ate My Wookie and Hey You Guys picked up on the competition and, and did some great postings for us. The prize, should you win, will be an amazing DSLR package from Jessops and also the chance, all expenses paid, to come and visit me on the set of my latest film. I think all of us as judges found the competition incredibly difficult to judge because the standard was so high. I got my very first break by entering a competition just like this and so it's kind of really great to come full circle and be involved so heavily in a competition like this one. It's a tremendous opportunity for everybody who's been involved. Right, good evening everybody. So all of you here are going to go see your films and then after that um, we will announce who the top three are. Um, in third place is a movie by George Fox. Um, it, it was a very charming tale. Our second film is a movie made by Mirren Patel. Um, it was very unusual in terms of, of our entries because it actually it used a lot of visual effects. Um, these were all uh, done at home, I believe, by Mirren, and um, they were fantastically well done as well. Our winning film is by David Schofield. This film, I thought, really, really delivered. It stood head and shoulders above the rest of them. I thought it combined really, really good use of location, beautiful cinematography, and very strong performances. Uh, yeah, winning the shot means a lot to me. It means that I can kind of um, promote myself as a filmmaker a bit, a bit more and um, try and push some of my ideas out there and hopefully make some more productions in the future. It's been an absolute pleasure working with The Mob, Paul W.S. Anderson and the panel of judges and we want to thank everyone who devoted the time and the effort to enter the shot competition. And it would be great to think that we've discovered a budding filmmaker of the future. I'm, I'm sure uh, he's very proud of it and I'm looking forward to talking with him about it when he comes to visit me in Toronto. Thank you very much and uh, I can't wait to do this again next year.